first, thank you very much for, uh, for, for, for being here. I know it's late on Friday. Um, I'm going to just say this. I can't stand on the stage with lights in my, in my eyes, so I'm actually going to come down. I don't want to scare you guys. But I also want to make sure you guys are not sleeping. So um, I'm going to come down. I'm, kind of, I'm going to kind of walk around. Uh, usually I have more of an interactive talking about domains and stuff like that. Uh, you know, as you just heard, it's more of a technical presentation, so you'll have to excuse me as I bumble through it. Uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, if you guys aren't sleeping, I won't put you guys to sleep. So that's why I'm down here to make sure you guys stay awake. Um, can I have the video, please? There is one thing growing faster than crime rate. Divorce rate, which is why we have introduced light detector 3000. Is your name Ramesh Shinde? Yes. Are you 26 year old? Yes. Do you know Sanjana? Yes. Do you wish to marry her? Yes. Are you marrying her for her father's money? No. Love and lies cannot live in the same home. Today, we have saved over 600 marriages. Satya me vajayate. Dot biz, when you're proud of your business. Big Rock. Dot biz websites at rupees 199. When I first started my yoga classes, I never thought there would be such a massive business success. I'd like to give back to society what my guru gave to me. Can you feel the peace, CJ? Yes, ma'am, I can feel it. You're a lotus floating in a pond. Yoga is improvisation. Improvisation is yoga. My mission is to take yoga to the world. So who's coming to my Sunday class? Dot Piers, when you're proud of your business. Big Rock. Dot Biz websites at rupees 199. Thank you. Um, hopefully, a lot of you guys have seen the have seen that ad before. Um, I actually, as you know, some uh, the, the young lady and the gentleman in those ads are over at our booth. And I thought, rather than my walking down and trying to wake you guys up, I'll have her come here and do a yoga session. But she declined, politely declined. Anyway, I, I'm not going to be talking about Dot Biz today. I'm going to be talking about some of the other services that Newstar offers. Um, we haven't done a very good job of telling, uh, you know, telling any, you know, this audience, which has, uh, you know, been here for two or three years now, uh, and telling the, uh, the, the, the registry and registrar audience that we've been in, the hosting audience, as to what we do. So one of the charters that we have, uh, you know, to try to go as we're going to these conferences is to try to let people know a little bit more about what it is Newstar does. It's a much more diversified company than just domains. Um, the primary areas we do, the primary areas that we have, are, we, we are an infrastructure company, uh, and mostly what we do is kind of, uh, you know, is infrastructure, kind of in the promote and protect. So as we go through this, I'll go through some of these services. Um, the agenda today is, you know, tell you a little bit about Newstar, uh, what the online landscape looks like. You'll have heard a lot from the other companies, from Google and from uh, Verisign, etc., what it looks like. I won't spend too much time on that. Uh, what some of the challenges in the marketplace are and what some of our solutions are. Um, and I'll talk about three, three in particular, about DNS, uh, web performance, and DDoS mitigation. And then how does this help you? Why is that important and how can you guys benefit from it? Um, Newsta is a company, we, 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 we kind of uh, say and we pride ourselves that we power the connections that keep businesses running. Uh, we offer mobile connectivity and routing. We do landline and mobile portability in, uh, you know, in the United States, in, uh, in North America, in Taiwan and in Brazil. A uh, variety of other services. We work with a lot of the major carriers. You'll see through here who some of our customers are. Most businesses, a lot of time you probably are using or we're touching you some way, in, uh, in, you know, every day in some way, but you probably don't realize it because we sit in the background. And as I said to you, the company has we've never done a good job of telling people what we do. Even though you might be using our technology, you might, we might be routing your phone, your phone calls, et cetera. So it's only in the last few years the company has actually started to tell people and, and build their brand a little bit more. 
The three areas, that, uh, as I mentioned to you, the two areas are protect and promote. These are some of the services that we have, primarily focused at businesses online. Uh, the DNS and DDoS, which we'll talk about a little bit, uh, in, 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 we'll talk a little, a little bit about that today, about web performance. An IP intelligence service, uh, domain name registry, you guys know us by that, and the di digital marketing. Primarily, the digital market marketing is primarily focused in, uh, you know, in, in the United States. There's not a lot of services that work outside there. So a little bit about Newstar. It's, uh, it's listed on the New York Stock Exchange. It's a public company. Uh, you know, what, uh, there's 1,500 employees grown very fast over the last few years. There's about 14,000 customers worldwide. Uh, when I say customer, 14,000 clients, we think of them as clients or partners, people that we pay particular attention to. And there's a lot of other smaller customers that come through our websites that we don't, may not touch every day in terms of talking to them. And it has approximately 80, uh, $830 million in revenue. Uh, Offices-wise, there's offices all over the world. Most of them are in the U.S. We have one down in Costa Rica. There's a lot of workers for us there. We've got an office in China. Uh, there's one in Taiwan. Uh, there's also uh, there's a, there's a satellite office in Brazil. There's two development offices in India. Uh, and we're looking at ex possibly expanding the presence here in India. Uh, so there's a variety of offices around the world. That's, our services are in three primary groups. You've kind of looked at our services in three primary groups. An enterprise group, uh, sorry, carrier services, that's kind of our core business, which is number portability, uh, the mobile business, et cetera. And, you know, and then, so, so this is probably, if you look at it, North America, Taiwan, Brazil, as I said, we do a lot of back office management services. Uh, the company kind of prides itself in the new star, the first three letters, NEU stands for neutrality. We collect a lot of customer data. We help, we help telecom companies bill. We help them route, but don't share any of their, of their personal, of their company's uh, customer data with everybody else. So it's a very strong tenant of the company in terms of neutrality. Uh, in terms of scope, there's, uh, we have about 3.8 billion phone numbers globally in the database, and we route about 48, call, uh, 48 billion calls uh, on, a, on a daily basis. The second grouping is enterprise services. Registry falls in that. Uh, it's the second part there. Uh, Biz and US are, 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 are key, uh, key brands. Um, we do the back-end registry services for travel, tell, and, and .co. Uh, we are pretty successful in securing back-end registry services for the new TLDs that are coming out. We have 350 plus. Uh, we also will, will, uh, will uh, we, we kind of own and management .ny. I shouldn't say own, we do it on, the, on behalf of the, of the city of New York. But we'll be doing uh, kind of what we do for Biz and US, we'll be doing that for .nyc as well. Um, on the internet infrastructure side, managed DNS, which is the, uh, you all, some of you all may know that as ultra DNS. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit today. Web monitoring and load testing. Uh, DDoS, uh, which, is a, uh, which is a mitigation, which is, a, which is called site protect and then IP intelligence, geolocations, and an audience targeting solution, which has been created from some of the data and from the IP geolocation uh, uh, database, that, uh, IP, IP database that we have. The, la uh, the third area is information services, relatively new business to the company. Uh, it was done by, by an acquisition about two years, or three, two years ago, two years ago in November. Um, and, what, and this, is pri this particular uh, piece of the business is primarily focused within the United States, looking to expand that globally, but primarily in the U.S. today. Um, it's like, you know, we, serve up the, we serve up the caller ID and identification in, 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 in the U.S. Uh, we do verification and, and analytics for businesses, uh, for small businesses, for enterprises, uh, local search and license data. Uh, we, have, uh, we have about 13.9 million small business listings in our database in the US, and we've created a service out of that where businesses come in and subscribe. They give us name, address, phone number, and a variety of other data, and we push that out to all the search engines and all the directories uh, within the US, so that you don't have to go in and claim your listings and do that in every single one of these directories uh, or, or search engines. We just push it out one time, and it's a subscription service. Um, so not only do we do that on the small business side, but then the data that we have that gets, gets cleaned up also gets sold to the publishers, and the publishers purchase data from a variety of sources, and then they use that to kind of create their own databases and use that, you know, use that data in terms of serve up through their search engines and into their directories. In terms of scope, we do about uh, you know, 30 billion queries uh, on, a, on, a, on, a on a daily basis, and we answer a lot of questions on a daily basis. Uh, this is just a pictorial of the TLDs that we, uh, I should say a TLD, of the services we provide. Um, 
And these are kind of a, uh, some of our partners and clients, uh, you know, ranges from registrars uh, to, large, to, to large brands to some of the smaller brands as well. Uh, so the online landscape, like I said, you, you've heard a lot from other companies on this, and uh, they probably got a lot more data than I do, but just kind of I want to touch on a couple of, uh, uh, you know, kind of few of the, uh, of the stats over here. Um, there's 2 billion users online, uh, you know, global competition. Uh, and the interesting thing with the Internet, it's kind of leveled the playing field. Whether you're a big business or small business, you've got an opportunity to compete today. In the past, you know, big businesses could advertise. They had a, really had an advantage. The Internet has become kind of a... Uh, given, you, given us all an opportunity, smaller businesses, to try to compete in the space. But that means also your brand and your revenue is more at stake, right? You need to start protecting your brand. You need to promote your brand in order to get some relevancy online. Um, 2000, by 2016, there's expected to be 3.4 billion users accessing the Internet. Uh, you can read the amount of traffic there. Zetabyte, Zetabyte, you know, huge. That's all I can say. Um, you know, in 2014, uh, next year, they're talking about global downloads uh, reaching 76.9 billion, uh, and that'll be worth about 35 billion U.S. dollars. It's a pretty amazing number. Um, and then the tablet marketing, uh, you know, so if some of you guys heard the presentation on, uh, that Google did. It's amazing how the space is growing from a mobile and a tablet, but you can see in 2000 and, uh, t uh, you know, last year there were 122 million tablets. 2016, they're expected to be 287, uh, you know, more than, more than double. So what, does, what are the challenges and what are some of the solutions? So Newstar as a company has been looking at this, looking at the data, and we've kind of transitioned from being a company that's been in the telecom sector to being in the data analytics sector because we've got a lot of information, and our clients, both enterprises as well as some of the medium, small businesses, start to say, you've got all this information. Can you, give me a little, can you give us a little bit more information? Can you go a little deeper and provide more information? So one of the decisions we made about two years ago as a company was we needed to take the information that we have, we needed to analyze it, and we needed to provide back some data to, to customers uh, without providing any specifics about customers. It's just more uh, trends and more analysis, and so that's the direction that the company has decided to go in. So I'm going to talk about uh, DNS. Um, it's critical. I think everybody knows it's critical. It, uh, you know, websites work with it. Emails work with it. If it doesn't work, uh, that doesn't work. Um, you know, if we don't, if, uh, if, the, if DNS doesn't work, we can't communicate with each other. Uh, however, interestingly, we all take it for granted, right? Because it works most of the time. When it doesn't work, we're all up in arms. Most of the time it works and we take it for granted. Um, a little bit about our Ultra DNS service. So you can see from here, uh, it's, you know, we've had about 14 plus years as a premier provider of, uh, of enterprise managed DNS. It used to be for large companies. It's been, you know, we started to come downstream in terms of the, uh, the pricing and in terms of the products and services we offer. Um, it was founded by a gentleman by the name of Rodney Joffe. He's, uh, you know, he's a, he is a pioneer in, on the, uh, you know, uh, as far as the internet is concerned, and he's a cyber uh, threat expert. He's still with us. He still uh, looks at the service and helps to build it. Uh, we are involved in all the necessary bodies, uh, internet community, the technical bodies, the security agencies, so we're very involved in that. And there's a lot of things that, there are a lot of services from a functionality uh, and from a security standpoint that, you know, that the group tend, still tends to pioneer. They did it early and they continue to do that. Uh, what are the things that we talk about when we say about the, the DNS services? It's a, it's, a, it's a powerful global directory platform, very powerful global directory platform. It's carrier grade, very highly redundant network. Um, we offer some of the best SLAs, comprehensive SLAs in the, in the, in the, in the industry, 24 by 7. Um, you know, and, and we've layered services on top of the basic and the core network. So they are the services, that it, because it is becoming more of a complex space, and you know, people are asking for advanced services. Um, you know, and why, why would you use it? What do we offer? Right? So I said performance. Um, you know, it, security is another one. Uh, DDoS attacks, we'll see, we'll see that a little bit later. DNSSEC is becoming more important. Uh, you know, we're fully, fully uh, uh, DNSSEC compliant. This, the network is, 100, is guaranteed 100, uh, in terms of SLAs, 100% plus uptime. Um, as your business grows, you can grow with the, with the network. Um, and most important, you know, we obviously have the experience doing this.
This is the footprint in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, where the, where the uh, servers are. So we currently have a network of 24 nodes, so pretty much all over the world. We're looking at expanding that 18 to 24 months to, uh, to 34. Um, and they, they're pretty much on every continent. Uh, uh, and uh, in terms of as far as India is concerned, we've got a node down in Mumbai and looking at putting another one in Chennai within the next 18 to 24 months. A little bit about web performance. Um, a lot of us around holidays have a lot of traffic. Uh, I don't know how much, uh, you know, how much time you know, we spend in terms of looking at the sites to find out what problems are. Um, some stats here, uh, you know, according to Microsoft, you can lose a customer with a 25 second delay. Uh, you, know, you can drop traffic, 20% of your traffic drops with a, 50 second, uh, with a 50 second delay, and you can drop, your conversions can drop by 7% if you have a one, if you have a one second delay in terms of loading your sites. Uh, the, how, do we, how, do we help, how do we help website with our, with our web performance management? Primarily in the areas of looking at the sites and looking at functionality, the availability, and the performance of the site. Um, so the, I think the key takeaway from this slide is it's a cloud-based, it's an automated uh, service. Uh, it's a cloud-based uh, service. It's automated. Uh, it tests on all browsers to save time. Uh, one of the key uh, unique differentiators of the service is that um, you know, it tests, uh, it, you know, it tests with real browsers coming from different parts of the world to make sure that we, uh, you know, that it actually mimics the, what actual users, are, what actual users are doing. Um, on the DDoS side, uh, I think we, I think most of us know, you know, how this impacts us from the, the distributed denial of service attacks uh, can really quickly take a site down, can really hurt your your uh, your traffic and your revenue. Sometimes you don't even know. We'll see an example here. Actually, it happened in India that was reported by the Times in a couple of minutes. So it's, these are some of the industry st statistics here. So this is more than 7,000 attacks happen, uh, happen every day. It's become easier to, attack, to, to, to uh, launch attacks now. Um, there are free tools available on the internet. There are people on the internet who are hiring themselves out to do DDoS, uh, to, 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 to run DDoS attacks for, 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 uh, you, know, for, for you. It costs very little to do it. Um, the attacks are becoming more and more complex, uh, requiring expertise. Um, you know, the amount of bandwidth that it's taking, that they're taking, and for you to mitigate, it's becoming higher. Um, interestingly, the number of reasons, the research we do, the number of reasons before people would, would, would do it, uh, uh, would, would launch a DDoS attack finally for financial reasons. Now it's become, you know, an employee gets mad with you, a customer gets mad with you, uh, social media has become a way to launch an attack in terms of, uh, pro, uh, you know, because, uh, because they want to protest something. They have attacks on a political side, uh, you know, and if you start to look, it's, it's pretty amazing in terms of what, you know, of, of where they hit. They hit government, they hit security agencies, they hit, they, they, they hit large companies on the retail side, they hit banks, so it's just amazing, it's just a diversity. And, you know, that eventually it will happen. If you are a growing company, and you become important, you have revenue, eventually you will have a DDoS attack. And the question becomes is, are you prepared for it? This is a, this is a case from the Times of India. Um, it's a business that was an uh, artificial jewelry business, didn't re wondered why his, uh, his traffic didn't really go down. His traffic stayed up, in fact, was going up, but his revenue was falling, couldn't understand it. And finally, when he hired somebody to take a look at it, it was actually being, <laughs> It was actually being launched by a, by a, by a, uh, a competitor against them. Finally found out and they were able to take care of it. So, you know, it kind of gives you the scope of what, you know, what happens in the, in the area with, with, with a DDoS attack. Uh, what, are the what are the risks if, a, if, you, if you get a DDoS attack? Damage to a brand. Um, whether you're a small company or a big company, right? Your customers, it will impact your customers. Uh, you can see there for large companies, and something that we did with large enterprises, you know, for every 1% variance, and you know, give you 1% brand equity, there, and then what happens is if you drop that, the stock prices tend to go down. It affects their stock, their, their stock returns. Loss of revenue um, can be as high as 100K per hour, if not, if not higher. Um, customer has a bad customer experience. Your DDoS attack might last for a few hours, but customers don't forget for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, so it affects your sales, it affects your revenue, it affects your, your, your customers and customer support, your brand. 
And it kind, kind of comes down to you from an online presence is, is if you have that attack, if you're not prepared for you have the attack and you have to mitigate and hire somebody, it gets very expensive Hello? if you Hello? do it at the last minute, Hello? right? So the idea, so the, so the point is you want to try to prepare for them. Just uh, again, just a, a reiteration of, uh, you know, of this affects everything, financial services, gaming, online, cloud, government, everybody in all areas tend to get hit. Um, a little study that we did with IDG, uh, you can see that on the right side, extremely concerned, very concerned, somewhat concerned. Uh, you know, 60, 65, 70% of, of businesses are concerned about DDoS attacks. So people, you know, we, we ran this, IDG ran this with the customers large and small, a medium. And what we, it was interesting to see, everybody is concerned about it, uh, and especially during their peak traffic hours. Um, and we, we asked those same people is, how many of you all have a DDoS uh, solution? 60% of them had it, and they're still concerned about it. So despite having a solution in place, you still have people who are concerned about being hit, uh, about being hit with the DDoS attack, primarily because of the cost and the brand equity that they lose. Um, so what are, your, what are your options? So you can use a teleco, and, uh, and you know, telecos are not, don't have as much expertise in the space, um, number one. Number two is they, tend to, they, they, they don't tend to, to, uh, to um, protect your search. Your, your, your service themselves, right? Uh, but, and they don't have a lot of, and if you're using different telecos, if you're using different connections, you're gonna have different, uh, different uh, uh, solutions out there, and you're gonna pay three or four different uh, uh, telecos for it. You can do it yourself, it's expensive. Um, you know, you have to scale it. What happens if the bandwidth that, you know, when you have an attack, if you don't have enough bandwidth, it gets again expensive, and you have to have the in-house expertise to do it. If you're a small or medium business, you probably can't afford to do it. Uh, CDNs. Uh, their primary goal is to really sell the CDN services. They don't usually have the expertise to do it. It doesn't protect your origin server, right, with, uh, on the CDN. The cloud-based services, uh, at the end of the day, are your best option. You have no, there is no uh, uh, investment in any, ca there's no CapEx or any investment in equipment. You don't need the in-house expertise, uh, you know, and all the traffic gets away from your site. And if you have a large attack, you have somebody helping you do that, you've already, you know, you're already, uh, part of their solution and they're mitigating for you. Uh, you don't need to worry about whether you've got enough resources and enough expertise in-house. Um, so this just reiterates 100K. We've seen, we've seen that, uh, attacks that have, that have taken siphon of 100K an hour. People have lost that kind of money internally. For those of you interested in this, on October 23rd, uh, we're hosting a live virtual uh, uh, event on, uh, on DDoS. On DDoS. Um, We'll have guys like Rodney on it. We'll have technical teams on it to talk about this, and to talk about how uh, and to talk about uh, DDoS in general and how we can how we can help you all. So if anybody is interested, it's an online virtual event on October 23rd. Um, so how does this all help you, right? So you've, you hear the stuff, uh, you've seen the stats. Um, India is growing very quickly, right? There's two billion uh, two million of uh, these businesses are online now. There's 35 million SMBs. Large enterprises, so it's, growing, it's a growing market. Uh, good, time, good time to protect your business and start thinking about protecting your online presence. Uh, if you don't have it today, it will become important to you as you start to grow and as more businesses come online. Um, there's two ways, you can, two ways you can take advantage of our services. Number one is you can use them for your own, for your own websites, for your own services to protect you, um, or to use DNS, web monitoring, load testing. The other way is you can offer to your clients, you can, uh, to, you can offer some of these services to your clients, and you can generate revenue from them. Uh, just quickly, I'm gonna go through uh, a little bit more detail on the ultra DNS, uh, on the DNS part of it. We offer, as I said, a managed DNS service. It's a portal for partners. You can white label it. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's got, it's got a, there's a core service on it. There's some advanced services on it. Uh, where, you know, traffic, a site failover. Uh, there is a regional routing uh, piece on it, load balancing. So there's a variety of services on there that you can actually, that you can actually use. Um, if you want to go to market with it, it's, very, it's a very quick turnaround. It has, you can either, it's a hosted solution, um, white labeled, and it's white labeled at two levels. It's white labeled at the level where for you, if you want to sell it to your partners, and if your partners are resellers and, you want to, and they want to white label the it, so it's two levels down in terms of you being able to offer it. Uh, it's, a very simple, it's a very simple business model. Uh, it's query based. This is what the platform looks like. Uh, we enable you, um, it's under your brand, 
And then if what you can do is you enable your partners. Your partners, you can either give your partners, your, your, your resellers, the ability to run their own reports and manage their own DNS, or you can do it for them. And you would have a master panel from which you can, you can, uh, you can manage it. You can do it under your own brand. Um, this is just a, a sampling of how you could, customers, uh, what most of our customers are using the service today, they offer a core service, uh, there's, and then they kind of offer two other services where they add, throw in advanced services. We don't charge you for the advanced services, we charge you on a query-based model. So you, you pay us one fee for the queries, and, as, and then you can basically put any number of customers on there, and, uh, and, uh, you, know, and you, can, you can slice and dice it and, and create the packages however you want it. So there's a lot of flexibility in how you do that. Um, so just, just basically talks about what, you know, how this can help you improve for your customers, improve loyalty, retention, you can accelerate new business, uh, your bottom line, uh, and you, know, you position yourself in an industry, this is something that's going to grow in, this country, you know, in, in your part of the world or within your community that you're working in, it's a good, it's a good uh, service to have. And uh, just, uh, I don't have a slide on this, but if DDoS mitigation and, uh, and um, web monitoring load testing. Those two services we offer on a referral basis, they cannot be white labeled because customers expect the, uh, the, the, the company that's offering that and delivering that service to have some expertise. We tried to do that uh, uh, last year, a year and a half ago, in, 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 in out, outside, the, uh, you know, outside of us and tried to have somebody white label in another country. Didn't work very well because there's a lot of engagement with the customer through with those with those particular services. Some of some part of web monitoring can be automated, and we're looking at putting that on the customer portal, on the reseller portal. But for most part, we'll offer those two services on a referral basis, and it's a recurring referral. So if you bring a customer to us, we'll pay you for that for uh, for you know a percentage of what that customer pay, pay, pays to us, and then on an ongoing basis if they renew. The, the intention there is they're your customer and you'll come in to talk to them. We'll pay you for that as well. And um, that is all I have. I appreciate it. Appreciate your listening and staying awake.